What's happening today? Are we closer to reaching Dr. King's dream today? What's the now? Today, there are biracial couples and children. Our classes are more diverse. There's plenty of color everywhere we go. We have not yet fully satisfied the dream of Dr. King. Not all people are accepting of other races, but this world is no longer in turmoil when it comes to race. We are closer to Dr. King's dream to be better today than we were yesterday. Although a lot of people are very educated on things that happened in the past and what's going on currently, I don't feel as though there's such need or there's a large emphasis of what has happened in the past that has created today and what we will build on to make tomorrow. I think he, he was such an influential man in the society that we live in today. And a lot of the things he believed still uh, lives on today. But in certain parts, you know, a lot of what he didn't want is still going on because people are ignorant to the fact that everybody is equal. But it's still a little hard for some people to understand that everybody's equal. We all need to realize that if we want to get Dr. King's dream to really come alive, everybody has to play a part. I truly believe that we are coming closer to Dr. Martin Luther King's dream. I believe that with a lot of hard work and dedication, we can get there if we focus on coming together as a community to try and better our education and better the world for the upcoming generations. I think we're closer to reaching it, but not completely there yet. Um, I think it depends on what generation the person is from that you're asking, kind of who you surround yourself with as an influence on it. Like, if you actually get to talk and get to know people, we're all the same. We definitely came a lot closer and we came a long ways because just look at us. We. I mean, we are able to attend the same school, and I just think that that's like, that was like the big step, because you know, it was like a big separation. I just try not to let things get to me, because everybody is entitled to their own, own opinion, and if that's what like, they believe and they still want to follow that old racism stuff, then that's them, but I'm not going to let them, like, let it get me down, because I know at the end of the day of where I'm trying to go, and to get to where I need to be, I got to treat everyone equally, so. Society believes that in the African American community, blacks aren't supposed to succeed or to become anything, as in past references towards our ancestors and slaves, how they weren't supposed to read and write. And, and today, you see an African American president come, become reelected, and you understand that in both reference to the black community and as a nation, as one, you see how we can come together and be equal. And that was his dream. I guess today, uh, the new generations are kind of have like a more open mind than they would have back before uh, the days of Martin Luther King. Like I think people are more, um, more like accepted, like uh, willing to like accept change and the younger generations are more uh, definitely more like interested in progress. I think we're definitely closer to reaching like Dr. King's dreams. I mean if you look we have an African-American president which is like if he could have seen that today he would have been really proud I think. I believe that Martin Luther King's dream isn't really being fulfilled for the fact that no one is honestly being respected. No one is saying any their beliefs the correct way we're always quick to blame someone else even when it's not honestly their fault it's becoming a hatred thing although other people are trying to fulfill his dream there are some people actually the majority that aren't i think that in a sense we have reached those dreams but we still need to work harder in order to get full equality i feel that a lot of times we think we've reached that, but at the same time, 
In the back of our mind, we still have some prejudice against other people. Martin Luther King actually once said, um, I've been to the mountaintop and I've seen it. It's wonderful. Hopefully one day we can actually reach that mountaintop where everybody is just equal and they're not seen by the color of their skin or the race. I think as like black Americans, I think I don't think we've reached his dream completely because I think there's still places where we definitely need improvement, but I think we've come a lot closer to where we were before in terms of equality, like schooling and um, job equality. And as of now, I think like having, especially having a black president, I think if he were alive, I think he'd definitely be really proud of that. Some people are so set in their ways, you can't really change their opinion. Um, I feel like we almost kind of have to just focus on kind of the next generation and bringing up children as being more tolerant and hopefully we can just kind of erase this past with uh, the next generation. I feel like we, we, we just are becoming more accepting of people, although there is still a lot of problems that exist that we have to deal with, but slowly, I think we can just keep progressing. I think we should all understand one another. Um, we, we're, we're all different, that's obvious, but we're all human. And as a human, we should all show compassion for one another. It, we don't, we're different, but we're not really different. We both breathe the same air. We still love one another. We still love people. So we should all just remember that we're all people. Our society, our world, is a culmination of dreams. We are living out the blueprints that Martin Luther King gave us with his I Have a Dream speech. Martin Luther King preached equality, civil rights, that all men should be treated equally. And every day, you see many, many people come together and strive down the road towards equality. We want to give every single generation in the future a fresh new beginning, a way to move forward while having a foundation. And that foundation started with men like Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream. But one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal.